a year after the Dust Bowl. Franklin D. Roosevelt wrote in a letter, the nation that destroys its soil destroys itself. 84 years later, that same message is being taught by Robbie Howard. I'm getting ready to end my career as a farmer, but I still have some things I'd like to pass on to future farmers. Howard is a grain farmer in East Carroll Parish and spoke to producers at this soil health workshop about using no-till and cover crops. My first 30 years of farming, soil health really didn't mean that much to me. But when cotton prices dropped in the 90s and he had to find other ways to make a profit, he became curious about his soil's health. I started going to meetings in the Midwest for no-till and I went five years in a row up there to, to learn the method came home and we started implementing it. Not long after, he started to see improvements. We went, started with a half a percent of organic matter and within five to six years, we were up above three percent. Cover crops is just one part of the whole big picture of improving soil health. Natural Resources Conservation Service soil scientist Rachel Stout Evans says, cover crops protect soil from erosion, control weeds, increases organic matter, and keeps moisture in the ground. However, a 2017 LSU Ag Center report shows only 72,600 acres out of Louisiana's 8 million acres of farmland grow cover crops. LSU Ag Center's economist Naveen Adusamili explains why acres under conservation are still a small number in our state. The challenges associated with implementation of conservation is not just economical. There are policy issues with respect to how crop insurance plays into this whole adoption of conservation. Adu Samili says the limited amount of funding for cost share assistance and the steep learning curve to implement the practices are also challenges farmers face, which is why Evans helped organize this event to answer some of the questions farmers and ranchers face. We wanted farmers to talk to other farmers. I can stand there as a government soil scientist and I can tell them all the concepts, all the theories. However, I'm not the farmer. It's not my pocketbook, it's not my land, you know, it's not my equipment, it's not my family. Columbia, Louisiana farmer Marty Ernest hosted this event at his farm because he wants to share what he's learned through the years. Anything planted as a cover crop is better than nothing. I mean, even if you'd go out and buy the cheapest wheat seed possible, and plant that one species, it would be better than not planting anything at all. Sherry Kinney, a corn farmer in Caldwell Parish, is one who is willing to give it a try. Next season, as soon as my corn is cut, I'm going to see about putting in my cover crop. And hopefully the soil these farmers have worked so hard to improve will provide fertile ground for generations to come. This is kind of like raising a, a prize horse and you see him develop and he becomes a champion. I, I saw my soil become a champion, and that's, that's something to be proud of. In Columbia, Louisiana, I'm Taylor Fry for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Now, if you would like to implement cover crops on your farm, a great place to start is your local NRCS office. To find that information or programs offered to help you get started, head over to our website at twilatv.org.